Ben from Maine Woods and Water. Today I'm going to take a few minutes and go over the Daiwa Saltiste, which is my go-to reel for saltwater fishing, both inshore and off a boat. Hope you guys enjoy. So today we have the Daiwa Saltiste. This is the 5000. This is my go-to spinning reel for saltwater fishing. Most of my fishing here in Maine is done either wading or fishing off of, you know, points in the ocean, surf casting, things like that. This reel has uh, performed super well for me. I've been very happy with it. So I thought I would take a few minutes and just go over it with you guys today. So a little bit about the reel. It is a fully aluminum body. It has uh, nine bearings with a 571 retrieval and a 22 pound max drag. I have it spooled up with 50 pound Power Pro and it will hold 360 yards of 50 pound braid or if you want to go mono, it will go 280 yards of 20 pound mono. For me, braid is just a better application because it will last longer in the salt water and also I'm not looking for stretch because I'm fishing a lot of top water. With the nine bearings, I will say it is a super smooth retrieval and it allows you to cast a long ways. I can cover a tremendous amount of water with this reel, whether I'm throwing a top water plug or a swim bait, whatever it is, when I'm trying to cover water or I'm trying to reach fish that are a little ways out, it's never an issue and um, it's fantastic for that. The drag, when you tighten it all the way down, I will say that I 100% feel that I would break off before I would get spooled. You, uh, you know, when it's fully tight, super smooth, but super tight, and you can barely pull line off of it, at least I can't. The biggest thing for this reel for me probably was that it was mag sealed. And I can tell you when I first got into saltwater fishing, I made a mistake, and I hope you guys will be able to take what I'm telling you and not make the same mistake I did. I knew I was gonna be doing a lot of surf casting. I knew my reel was gonna be uh, getting wet in the salt water, but what I didn't do was I didn't go out and buy a mag sealed reel at first. I went out, I wanted to save a few bucks, and I bought a pen slammer too, which from all accounts, a pen slammer isn't a bad reel if it's gonna be a boat reel, if it's not gonna be getting overly wet. But where I was in the water all the time, where I dunk my reels and things like that, the pen was dead within three or four trips and I was out at a good bite and I just suddenly realized that my reel was not casting, it was not retrieving and I had to cut the rest of my night short when other people were catching fish, which I can tell you was incredibly frustrating. Um, so something I learned from that and hopefully, you know, you guys will learn as you guys can take from my mistake is when you are fishing saltwater, it pays, it's it's worth it to pay extra for quality products that are designed for saltwater and to take saltwater abuse. I can tell you I've dunked this reel, I've swam with this reel on accident, uh, I'm not overly gentle on my equipment, and I've had absolutely no issues with it whatsoever. It still runs like the first day I brought it, I took it out of the box, my first fishing trip, it's still like it's brand new. I think this reel is a fantastic is fantastic for the price point where you're going to get it. So the 5000 is about uh, 235. If you wanted to go with the 4000, which is just slightly smaller, you get it for a few bucks cheaper. I can tell you that uh, if I have to go buy another saltwater reel, I'm immediately going to go to this. I'm not looking around. It's been uh, it's treated me extremely well. And um, even though I didn't want to pony up the 200 and, you know, the 230 bucks the first time I bought it, I can tell you that it was, uh, it's definitely worth the money and that it is a, it's a high quality product um, for what you, for the price that you pay for it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, feel free to hit the comment section. And if you liked it, smash that like button. Please subscribe for more great content that's coming your way. If you're on Instagram, Feel free to check out my Instagram page. I'll have the link to it in the description for the video. Thanks.